pretty set right there. You got your steamy coffee. Getting ready to do a little tackle in the bass boat. Clean some stuff up a little bit. Howdy doody y'all. Welcome back to the Lake Fort Guy channel. I'm glad you're here. It's going to be a great weekend. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the ding dongs. Special weekend because we got one of you guys that's going to hang out with me and Rob this weekend. Uh, we're doing a little tackle shopping today. We're going to hit the lake and then tomorrow we're actually going to go to another spot. Maybe hit a little small water pond or something like that. We haven't quite figured it out yet, but it's going to be a good time. Now, Roger, that's coming out with us, he bought one of the t-shirts, come and take it t-shirts. The one that says give it dang, give it a dang on the back. Me and Rob are doing all the bed fishing, spring fishing, and all that stuff. So what I need to do right now is sit here in this boat, drink me a little morning coffee, get the boat rigged up, get some rods rigged up, get, get everything just cleaned up, get ready for Roger and Rob to come, uh, come hop in the boat this afternoon and do a little fishing. Can't think of a better thing to do in the morning, really. You wake up and give your loved one a hug and a kiss, grab you a cup of coffee, pet your bulldog, sit in the boat and do tackle. The only thing better is just going out and fishing. That's about it. Things just get so disorganized. Right now I'm having that situation with beavers and craws. I know I've got a ton of them somewhere and I put them in individual boxes. Who knows? Hope they're getting used by somebody though. While I got you here, why don't you guys go ahead and let me know what you would think about doing another short intro for the channel here the fishing channel I kind of feel like doing one again it's really just like a five second deal if you've got ideas something to uh, grab you in and be like dang man something cool is about to happen right here I'm really interested to see what's gonna be happening on the lakes around here today you know when me and uh, Peric went out the other day the fish were doing what they were supposed to be doing if you guys missed that episode go watch it that's really what should be happening in late April May here in Texas where the fish move to cover that you can flip to cast to and going down the bank with a Texas rig is normally really easy it's a normal a late April uh, Texas pattern and the lakes around here lately you can get bites here and there we're just gonna have to adapt and uh, and overcome that's the challenge of bass fishing I love going out and trying to figure it out every day May is my favorite month to bass fish if you guys are curious I'm gonna quit blabbing I'm gonna get some stuff rigged up for Roger and I'll see you guys at fun and sun There we are. Roger, how's it going, man? Good. Hope you don't mind being on the vlog. No, no problem. It's all good? Yeah. All right, we're here with Roger at Fun and Son, and uh, he was just telling me that uh, you've only got mystery tackle boxes. But uh, as but far as tackle terminal goes, tackle, yeah. Yeah. you That's need terminal tackle. tackle, you need to get hooked up. Okay, so we're here, we're gonna get him hooked up, and then we're gonna get out on the water and do some fishing, so. Yeah. Going Let's get to shopping. That's right. <laughs> We're here on the terror, baby. Good luck at Ford. Yeah, yeah. we'll try it now. <laughs> Go get them. Yes, Hope you catch an over. That's what you yeah. need. I mean, you still got a lot of walls, a lot of pegboard. Shad spawns going on right now, so spinner baits have been pretty decent. Anything chartreuse and white that's got the you know, tandem nickel and gold, like that, except I don't like that one. So many options. What's up, Justin? I'm just going to throw some stuff in there that's like some of my favorites. <laughs> All right, Roger is pretty locked and loaded right now. Good bit of tackle. We're gonna go tie this up, see what we got rocking. Yes. All right, you feel good that you got hooked up? Yeah, I got a lot of stuff now. Good <laughs> to go. Now it's time to go hit the water, do a little exploration. A little Lunkers TV, we're gonna give it a dangle. New gas cap going on. The silver bullet is complete again. That, in fact, is the cheapest thing I think I've ever bought for a boat. I was thinking that gas cap was gonna be like 100 bucks just because that's how boats work, you know? I call them boats because it stands for break out another thousand, but that was actually 35 bucks. It sure is party too. Look at it. All right, me and Roger made it to the lake. Lunkers is gonna be here in just a little bit. He's getting all of his tackle straightened up. It's the only problem with having a lot of tackles. How do you organize it? You yeah. gotta make those little choices like what do I want in each little section. It is an absolutely gorgeous day though. Everyone is coming out to the lake. I think we're probably gonna end up catching some white bass out here. I've heard they're schooling on the shads and we're gonna go after some largemouth as well. During this midday period, 
It's probably gonna be tough because the shad spawn was this morning. They were gorging themselves. This is the flip-flop day. If you're not wearing flip-flops, you're insane. Look at that flip-flop tan. Is that one of the best you've ever seen right there? Yeah. It's pretty good. Medium diamond crankbaits. Those should be good. All right, Raj. Is this your first time in a big bass boat? Yeah, my dad had a Boston Whaler uh, Coho. Okay. About 19 foot, I believe. Deep V. Yeah. So we went to Puget Sound and stuff like that in Washington. Because you grew up in the Northwest, right? Yeah. You ever been super fast in a bass boat? No. no. Might do that today. <laughs> hey, we're missing Rob. Rob went to the abandoned boat ramp, uh, not the one that we were at. That was partly my fault. So we're gonna go pick him up from the bank. Better watch that little, that little tackle tray right there. That'll fly out. Okay, so you're all the way back there. There's like sticks and stuff back there. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just done. I'm in the park. He's sitting back there on the bike trail. <laughs> How's the hiking and the biking? Well, the bike trail's really nice. There's a lot of there's a lot of bait everywhere. In balls, and they're doing this. They're still spawning. They're doing circles on each other. I did catch a fish. You did? Yeah. Already. Nice. Heck yeah. Going a little, little swim bed around. What? Yeah, I caught one from the bank. Already. That's awesome. Showing up. Parker's TV. He doesn't even need a boat. There yeah. you go. I'm okay. ready. I think square bill is going to be like top water later on. My, my sound effects for, for fishing is like just ridiculous. Just do like a remix. Lunker's <laughs> yeah. soundboard remix. My, my sound effects for, for fishing is like. Spot on. You, you think it's spot on? Yeah. <laughs> if you got any kind of questions about the stuff you've seen us do, pitching is is like so essential for this time of year or it just drops right in front of them all of a sudden they just they feel like they have to eat it and they hold so tight to this stuff that that's why it's a good technique you already look like you're you know what you're doing just watching you, your guys videos yeah let it drop down <laughs> that was good you got a fish too we are both hooked you got a large mouth we are double hooked oh i have a large mouth too mine's on a spot yours is just Bigger than mine. Wow, middle of the day, right on the bank with square bills. Crazy. Hey, yeah! You beat LFG. <laughs> Dominated. Mine's prettier, though. I gotta give it a sniff. You know, you can just have that. Sweet. You wanna bump fishes? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> All right, Roger's on the board. Normally, if it's bright and sunny like this, I'm not breaking out a square bill and throwing it right on the bank. Shad spawn just kind of throws everything off. Probably a share lunker clam, if I had to guess. Oh, look at it, wow. There you go, make some raccoon really happy. Ugh. Even the clams are eating shad up shallow. Got him? Yep. Yeah, there we go. off the point. Hey, I'm burning the barns down with these little ones out. Little ones gotta eat too, man. Do your trick on these square bills. Sometimes you can just grab your line pull like that and it'll come out there you go. that just looks too good main leg point brush got me a good stick here this should be my thumbnail Ugh. sorry i screwed this brush up we got this big motor i guess we can use it oh yeah we're gonna go in there uh yeah. look in that right corner you gotta hook up again what do you got oh it's a big white bass yeah, it's actually that's like a, a really, giant that's a really good fish dude. <laughs> that's a good dinner plater swinger that's, a, that's an entire meal right there. Dead gum. Is that, a, is that a claw? That's a, no, that's just, looks like it's a worm or something. Maybe not so good to eat then after all. I thought that was a person. <laughs> I thought that was a person. Wow. So I'm not seeing a whole lot of shad less than six foot. Oh, we're on a bush. And some rocks. Yeah, we're gonna let that one go. Yeah. Trim me up, hey, no, don't, 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 don't pull down. Hey, I got it out. So that's just a brief taste of me and Rob's days out on the water. Uh, so much shad. Yeah, just came off the nipple. Still got milk on its breath. Oh. Thought we hit this point. I think it's a large whatever it is. It's a big bass. It's a, it's a large bass is what it is. Yeah. 
Big old bang. Oh gosh! You alright? I'm sorry about that. Oh no, no, no. Is it in your hand? I got it, oh, but. Goodness. Dang, dude. That was. That was yeah. for sure three and a half. I know that. Oh, that could have. That could have been so much worse. Well, that was a good one, buddy. Honest to God, like that couldn't have hit a better spot on my hand because it like went the, where the bill when I could grab it. So it stopped. Like it just barely good. skimmed my. I've got one. Good one. Big one. Giant. Small. Big. <laughs> no, doesn't feel big. Yeah, I mean, he's fat. That's actually a spotted bass. Yeah, I caught a clam. Got a spotted bass. Uh, the last one there was definitely the biggest one of the day. About got my hand destructified by a nice little crankbait. We might have had a PB situation. I didn't want to really say it there in the moment because it, we didn't want to sting too bad. Might have had one right there. Rob's, he's ready to jump in the, with one of these party boats out here, I think. With some, what's the name of that singer? Cardi, Cardi B. Cardi B. Yeah, that's, there's a lot of Cardi B and like, what do you call that? Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Michael J. Fox. I have no idea where that came from. Uh, I was thinking of EDM music, but oh, yeah. uh, Michael J. Fox will work. Anywho, we're going to get back after. Maybe some of these boats will clear out. We're going to have a nice evening. No, they're white bass. Oh, they're on it. I got him. First one on top. Oh, yeah, they're going out right out in front of the boat. Birds are trying to eat the lure. Dude, a crankbait would probably just, that'd, that'd be the best thing, but top is more fun. Oh, I got him. These are eaters right here. I feel like I have to do it. Oh, I had one fall on my bait, so do you. Oh, dude, he just knocked it out of the water. Oh, got him right at the boat, that's awesome. There's a few here. I got one on the bottom. This is uh, it's about to be a slug fest. Yeah. <laughs> Popping like it's hot right now. All right, Rod, how many is that? A lot. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. So uh, Roger's never seen topwater action like this. He's got a whopper plopper tied on, right? Yeah. Just getting uh, getting these white bass to come up and hit on top. A little evening action. Sun's going down. White bass are hitting. Rob's got a smile on his face. It's always a special day. He's sitting down catching them. It's a good time. Just give him a dangle. I'm just gonna leave my rods in your boat. Yeah, that's fine. All right, here's the dealio. Roger, Dodger. Roger, did you have a pretty good day? Excited. Yeah, awesome. All right, good. This evening, caught a ton of white bass. Roger had quite a large, large mouth. Probably would have scorched his PB, also scorched my hand, but everything's okay. <laughs> yeah. It was a good Whoops. fishing story. We're gonna drop Rob off in the woods right now. Go buy these people. Anyway, this is kind of weird. <laughs> Till the next one. Which will be in like 10 hours. Yep. yep. Oh, kick it in reverse. Kick it in reverse. He's on these wood adventure kicks right now. All right. You got your MREs or what? We got four at the house. One has your name on it. Hey, I like the uh, macaroni with hot sauce. All right, goodbye. Me, Raj, and Rob are gonna send it to a completely different lake tomorrow. He's hanging out with us all weekend. It's gonna be a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Go ahead and hit the like button for sweetness. Go ahead and hit the subscription button. It's free and easy. And hit the ding dong button. Are we gonna see him tomorrow, Roger? Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> we'll see you then.